Ta-da! <laughs> okay, what an intro, Garrett. All right, two things you probably noticed off the bat, all right? Thing number one, we have a new camera angle situation going on. Then thing number two is my mic finally doesn't sound like it sounded, it sounded so bad in the last video. So I was reading through the comments of the last video asking, because we, we experimented a lot with the camera angle. We actually had a chest mount, GoPro angle, and then a different field of view in the actual game itself. Hold on, you ready for this quick intermission? Because I can't multitask. Whip it in. Whip it around. Oh, look at that neck effects in action, baby. That could be taken out of context. <laughs> all right, all right, I had, to, I had to get that out of my system. I needed that. You can see our field of view is way different now. When I turn the wheel, our, you know, our in-game head moves with us. That's the neck effects in action. Pretty much what that does is let's say I'm drifting, obviously because I only have a single screen monitor, uh, it keeps my, my, my line of sight straight, even if that's out the left window or out the right window. Um, as opposed to it being static locked. Previously, it was something like this. So if I turn, see how it kinda goes off screen there and I get I get disoriented pretty easily. I think with those changes made, the new camera POV, cause you can still see, you know, you can see the sim moving. You can see the sim tossing me around, which is what I really wanted to show with the, uh, the actual camera. I'm gonna shut up now and try to do a whole lap flawlessly, all right? Wish me luck. Here goes nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> well, I went into that really confident. We didn't make that corner. This is just the default. Like, this isn't even a modded map. This is just the default drift map in Assetto. And I've gotten pretty good at it over the the months of of training. But that one corner that I messed up at does seem to get me a lot. So we can make it through this one. Usually in second gear. A little bit of left foot braking there. But then right here... Maybe there it is. Yeah, so I had to drop it into... I had to put it in third for a second. E-brake, and then back to second. That was it, though. So far, this is looking good. Little detour through here put it in first and then second come on yes and that's the last turn right there and then we get to this straight which I haven't got that far yet all right <laughs> I, I don't know how to hold my drift through that but that was a good warm-up. That's a, a good way to get the video started. Lately, I've been having fun on the public no Hezzy server. We're going to take out the C63. I think we did this in the last video, but this thing is so fun to drive. All right. Every time I step into this thing, I feel like I'm actually like get, getting into a car. So you can see, I still have the, the neck effects turned on. This is actually going to be new to me, doing a no Hezzy with this new camera angle, the new POV. Later, buddy. All right, anyone behind me? Nope, we are good to go. <laughs> oh, yep. All right, I love this car. Oh, baby. Okay, slow it, no, 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 okay. We, <laughs> we for sure hit them. We didn't crash though, we're fine. I always get too carried away right off the bat. I need to chill. You know, let the car warm up, the usual. I do like the, uh, I see what you guys were saying about the different actual in-game POV. It is a little, very slightly bit less immersive for me as a, oh, let me follow this guy. You know I can't multitask, so hold on. One thing at a time, baby, I'll get back to where I was. Oh, learn how to drive, bud, come on. Yep. Oh, buddy's getting sketchy with it. 
Buddy's hitting the wall. Buddy's going. Oh, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Nah, he's done. Buddy's done. Fully, fully done. All right. All right, P to that guy. What I was saying, this um, this static POV is a little bit more immersive for me, and the only reason is because when I turn, the sim moves. So the uh, the neck effects can be a little bit disorienting, actually. But it's such a minor difference to me that for how much better this POV looks on camera. It's worth it for making content, you know? I am curious to see how it looks, though. Because it, okay, it's growing on me, all right? <laughs> all right, it looks good. It's starting to feel good, actually. Yup. Skirt, skirt. Skirt, skirt. Oh, skirt, skirt. Uh, that would have been, I've collided multiple times already. This is not good. I'm not letting off the gas, all right? No matter what, I am not allowed to remove my foot from the gas pedal. Under no circumstances. Oh, nope, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that, that's crazy. I kind of always take out the same cars when we do these Assetto videos, but I do want to try something new just to kind of experiment with it. Um, I mean, what do we got here? I've pretty much driven all the drift cars already. What about something like that? I'm down to try, I'm down to try like an older Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking car. Alrighty. So I should have traffic enabled here. And there seems to be a bus, and I'm going the wrong way. That's okay. And there's a car <laughs> attached to the bus. Ooh, we're starting out for a leisurely, leisurely cruise. I've never driven this car before, so I want to see how she feels. God, third person just looks so good, besides the fact that my car looks like it got crumpled from the back. It is just, I don't know what it is, but being in the, the sim, it feels so weird looking in third person like it feels wrong oh but it sounds good and it looks good all right so we'll go fine we'll go to that camera i'm assuming there's no traction control in this it was it was what 1987 i want to say yeah it, it definitely oh baby come on don't lose it don't lose it break 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 yeah okay no traction control that means technically yeah, we can drift it. We can we, we can drift the Ferrari. Perfect. Pardon me. Oh, yeah, she loses she loses traction quick. Definitely more of just a uh, a light cruiser through the mountains. You know, we can't push it too hard. Obviously, I've never and probably never will drive a car like this. But I'm curious how you know how close to real life it feels with the. The steering, the motion simulator, the way, like the way the weight of the car feels. I am really curious how accurate it is. Damn. What happened to you? You good? No? Okay. God, it's, <laughs> it's a dream to drive a car like this though. Let me tell you, this is making me want it that much more. I don't think, I don't think it would last very long. I think I'd crash it. At this rate, how uncomfortable I feel in the sim. Oh! Yeah, see that? <laughs> that was a clench moment, let me tell you. Does this thing have headlights? Oh, that's the windshield wipers. Oh, it has headlights. You can see them pop up there. That's pretty sick. They're just really dim. Pardon me. Coming through. Old Ferrari coming through. Old Ferrari with a bad driver. Or a great driver. I'm dead. I'm going to hit a bus. I'm going to die. Ah! That was actually scary. <laughs> that, that, that felt a little bit too real. I think it's time to uh, take this bad boy for a spin. All right. It, it is. I don't know how it's going to go, but it looks crazy. 120. Am I reading that right? 120 horsepower. Yeah. 119 brake horsepower. 140 miles an hour for a go-kart. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. 
I'm coming. Oh boy, wait, hold on, hold on. It's too powerful. <laughs> Holy shit. Can you guys, okay, hold on. I'm wheeling, I wheelied, I wheelied the go-kart. I wheelied the go-kart on the freeway. Oh my god. This is the most fun I've ever had playing this game. How did I wheelie it? No. I fully like I fully got the, the front tires up once. There it is. <laughs> oh baby! I don't know how I'm doing it, but we're doing it! Oh my god. I feel like I have no control! Ow. <laughs> Ow. We're fine. Imagine just running into a car going 90 miles an hour in a go-kart, then just continuing on your way. Wheelie, baby! Off oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Where's the emergency stop button? Where's the emergency... I, <laughs> that's the first I've ever actually had to use the emergency stop button. I have an actual emergency stop button that's supposed to be mounted here, but it broke. So I have it sitting next to me, and that's the first time I've ever actually had to, uh, had to use it. There we go. Back to normal. <laughs> that was, that was crazy. Okay. Can it drift? It can, like, drift, but I can't really, I can't control it. <laughs> oh, this is great. All right. You can you can see the sim, right? Like you can see how much this thing's tossing me around. I'm going to try to actually drive it, right? We're not going to be flooring it on every turn. I'm going to somewhat pretend that this is real life, minus the whole like I wouldn't do this in real life. I'm going to pretend my life is on the line. More or less. I can feel every bump in the road. Ooh. I don't even know how fast I'm going, but I'm supposed to be going 35 for this turn. Oh. I should not be passing over the double yellow. I guess I can pass on the inside. No, I can't! Oh, I caught air! I caught air! I'm alive. I'm still okay. I'm still okay. Everything... Is a okay? Little fender bender, a couple scrapes here and there, but we're fine. Oh, can I lane split? <laughs> yep. It actually, like all jokes aside, it handles pretty well. I guess because it's so light. Like the brakes work really well. I do drift if I'm not careful, but like that. But it's, it's pretty easy to save, to like bring back. This is making me want to do this in real life. What are you doing? Come on. Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? I survived. I am a survivor. If I'm at like a, a quarter throttle, it's actually a very nice and pleasant drive. I just have to be very light on the gas, otherwise it gets crazy, but just like cruising this speed, this is actually great. I'm not losing traction. Feels great, handles great. I want to get to like a little pullout so I can enjoy the scenery somewhere. Yep, okay, see this is nice. Oh, but it, it still has a lot of juice left, you can hear it. <laughs> oh. What a great invention this is. There really aren't any turnouts. I'm on like the, the shaded side of the mountain. Oh, here, let's try something. Obviously in a uh, normal car, this is not part of the map. Like this is essentially where the map ends, but because I'm in a go-kart, I can kind of just pass through that barrier. 
now, and we can see we're in the Out of Bounds area now, ladies and gents, I think. Or maybe this is like some secret hidden east, nope. See, you couldn't do that with a normal car. Oh yeah, we're entering, I think we're entering the no-no zone. It looks a little bit, it looks a little bit wrong over here. It looks like the, the side of the mountains are burnt. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm gonna need that emergency stop button again, aren't I? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we're not supposed to be here, all right? There we go. <laughs> okay. I legitimately get like a whole workout playing with this thing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the changes that we made. Knock on wood that um, the audio sounds better. I, I hate audio issues. That's kind of bugging me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. Let me know what I should do or play next. Totally open to put this bad boy to full use, you know? So see you guys soon. Peace out.